town of Sandy Hook, Maryland, along old US 340. And the BNO tracks looking west. The town was originally called Keep Trist, but the name was changed to Sandy Hook after quicksand deposit in the Potomac River. But the people who put their canoes in the river at this point, at this time, say there is no more quicksand. Another lock house right here in the woods. That house also washed out in the 1936 flood. Lock house again. There's a woman whose grandfather used to live there and she speaks of a nice place before the flood. But all washed out in the flood of 36. There's an old wooden house in, in the trees right up there, known for its ghosts. In fact, the old woman I mentioned a few seconds ago used to live right there with her mother. They used to hear sobbing sounds in the middle of the night. That they could put up with. But one night the girl's mother saw a ball of fire go across the girl's bed one night and decided that was it. And so she grabbed the girl ran down the hill to her father's house right over here, the girl's grandfather's house in the woods you just saw, and never went back to the house on the hill, back to that house. In fact, it was kind of a mystery. In later years, there'd be lights shining in that house, but it would suddenly go out if anybody went to investigate. We were now stopped by the piers of the old railroad bridge that led to the Nestle Quarry in West Virginia, across the river through the trees. And here are more piers of the bridge crossing the Potomac River. Across the river was the Nestle Quarry. There was a cave there called Indian Church Cave where Indians once lived a couple hundred years ago. Once again, artifacts are found there also. Early in the century, the Nestle people sold the quarry off due to profits dropping and diversified into the food business. The rest you know is history. This is Little Orleans, Maryland, on the Sino Canal. Time a very busy place. That store is 200 years old. And this road, at one time, was the main route west, prior to the National Pike, across the river into Virginia, then bounced back into Maryland and the Paw Paw vicinity. In the distance, the abandoned Western Maryland. And up ahead is the very spectacular approach to the Paw Paw Tunnel. A view of Tunnel Hollow right here. But the towpath is a bit narrower, necessitating more caution. And around the curve, the Paw Paw Tunnel.
Here is the north end of the pawpaw tunnel in the early 1900s during an excursion. And here it is today. And now we are inside the tunnel. Original wooden guardrail right there. We are now stopped at the exact midpoint of the Sina Canal's pawpaw tunnel. You can see some of the brickwork right there. There is wooden shoring behind the bricks. We are getting closer to the south portal of the tunnel. They dug the tunnel by digging two vertical shafts from the top of the mountain down to the canal level right down there. And then dug laterally after that. Exiting the south portal of the Pawpaw Tunnel. The big, big city of Cloverlick. Check out the skyscrapers. In this case, they're mountains. Old station there for the railroad being refurbished. But the railroad to Marlington goes this way. It was part of the old Chesapeake and Ohio Railroad. railroad. But no relation to the canal by that name. Not at all. dogs, or a dog, whatever. Oh. Pay no attention to your right speaker. A baby deer. And there it is, get ahead. The Sharps Tunnel. It sure cuts a bend in the green bar. And here we are. I'll give you my bike headlight with me. But it's not that long of a tunnel. It's on a curve so you can't see the other side. Okay. In fact, it's shorter than the pawpaw tunnel of the sea in the canal. And it's cooler in here, too. I have my headlight on, but up ahead is the other side. Back to daylight. And also outside of the tunnel, we cross over to the other side of the Greenbrier to the east side. What a curved bridge and the green briar itself.
Alright, check this out here. A corn snake. In the pet shop they cost 15 bucks. Or a size 30. So what'll I do? Alright. Wow. There it is. Check this guy out. He's very friendly. I'll tell you hmm. right now. He isn't trying to bite or anything. He's very, very friendly. Pretty color. Yeah, see. It's a corn snake. Hmm. Oh. But I gotta let him go because I can't afford a tank to keep him in. Mm -hmm. So, 30 bucks back into the Potomac. Oh, <laughs> very long. Oh, well. Yeah. But, you yeah, know, beautiful snake. Mm -hmm. Friendly, too. Very friendly snake. Wow. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Wish I could keep him. Invaluable, too, in the pet shop. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Yeah, there's his tail. Yeah. No, his tail's <laughs> up my sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He likes the warmth, I guess that's what it is, and mm -hmm. the support. He's very friendly. He hasn't but moved he much. He's like even holding tame. him loose too. Yeah. Right now. He's not even trying to bite her or anything. Mm. Yeah. It's pretty tame. Mm. Very calm. Yeah. That was a nice one. Mm. All right. I gotta let him go. Okay. okay. See ya. Bye. Up ahead, once again, the interchange with I-77. Northbound goes to Cleveland, but if you're from Baltimore, don't tell them that, because Baltimore sold their football team, and they aren't too happy about that. The nice folks in Cleveland. Rent this bench. Now I sit there for free. I'm not going to rent it. Oh, man, it's I-77. Northbound goes to Cleveland where Baltimore's football team came from. But the rivalry is now over, so you can go up there and tell you for Baltimore and not get beat up. And they buried the hatchet last year. We got their football team. They are mad at us for a while, but now they're back peaceful again. We're friends again with Cleveland. Oh look, I messed up the snow. My footprints and no one else's. I'm the first to walk here in Ohio. What was that used for? Eggs. Okay. Eggs. And why would anybody put eggs in a metal box? In a metal box, box, right? This box held three dozen eggs. Wow. Hmm. Three dozen. Three dozen. Three they dozen. were packed in straw. Huh. Okay. And this wow. box was made to go through the mail. Wow. <laughs> mail well, eggs. Can you always see fragile? Label it fragile, right. Make sure that fragile yeah. label's on yeah. there. Wow. Right. That's what said eggs on. Interesting. <laughs> but anyway, these would be mail. And the rain simmered down a bit as we come into Franklin, West Virginia. In the Mountain Valley. In fact, a couple hundred years back, this area was known as the state of Franklin. Yes, at one time there was a state in the U.S. called Franklin, but there were difficulties or something getting it chartered or whatever else, and the state faded away, and this land divided up between Virginia, West Virginia, and North Carolina. You just learned something. The former state of Franklin. Shoot number eight for the action, our feedback catering shoot. We have Shane Durlach, one of our Wranglers this summer. He'll be riding Tsunami. Now, tsunami is a good bull. It's going to be a good ride. If we put these two together, we ought to see ourselves a good score. Now, it's a possible 100 point score for these cowboys, with 50 points being awarded to the bull. There he comes. He's got himself a big bull. Let's see if he can make that eight-second drive. Looks like he's there. He's on the ground. He can hear you. And the judges give him 70 points. So 
he is the winner of the first go round. Bull riding action. And if you liked it, how about let these cowboys know that you did with a yeehaw? Yeehaw! Hey, doesn't that feel better? And once again, we're coming to Frog Level. Good old Frog Level, Virginia. It's not even on the map. Frog Level. That was downtown frog level. And over here, Madonna of the Trail, watching over us. I guess she's doing her job. We've been relatively safe so far. This part of the trail is dedicated to the solar system. There we go. I guess I'm now about to pass all the planets and other stuff as well. And now Venus. If that's Earth, forget it. I can't go for the Earthlings. And up here, our usual messages. For your safety, keep right. Give warning before passing. Pass on left. Sealant 15. Always wear a helmet. Burma shave. Oops. I cannot, but I grew up in the 50s and 60s. Like I said, heading for Lost City, West Virginia. I would love to live there and tell people I live in Lost City and let them think what they want. And now here we are. And right now we're having a whale of a time. As I said before, I'm a mountain man normally. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, they look, I think I'll try one. Yeah, you try it. <laughs> it sounds good. And uh, Italian? Yeah, see Parmesan cheese. Oh, that's Italian. Of... I'm Greek, so that's pretty close. Are you Italian? No. But before going any further, Check out the Atlantic Ocean, as far east as we can go. And over here, Hooters, but is she qualified to work there? No comment. Go apply for a job. They'll take you. Over here, the best fries in the entire world. We're gonna get get ourselves some. Okay, get them all soggy with the vinegar. Get them all soggy up. No, don't mix it. Mix what? Oh, we're gonna steal some, okay. Let's steal some vinegar. Now to grab a seat so we can eat. I smell those and get hungry. They get lost. But I think they like it too much vinegar. The fry is when they're swimming around in it. Now down by the ocean. Oh no, we're gonna shoes. Ocean water. 
saltwater shoes instead of taffy. First time in about 30 years I touched the ocean. Here comes another one. Uh, not this time. Yeah, you see that? Yeah. You can blow bubbles inside the bubble. Bubble inside the bubble. Yeah, cut that down to a science. You, so yeah. <laughs> Mom's got to uh, learn that. <laughs> Mom's got to up her game, bro. <laughs> right. And then he puts you All right. inside the bubble. Oh, Mark, oh. Mark, please. I'll get it for you. Let's see. <laughs> Look how big they are, Chloe. Uh, go get it. Go get it. She's going to go get it. Chloe, come on back. But you can't catch it. It's too high. Eric, it bumped the wall. <laughs> All right, cool. folks. Gonna see how close I can get to Ellicott City. Well, we made it. Now, I'll see if I can bring anything. Yeah, but real shame that floodwaters destroyed this place. Still being restored. Apparently still a lot of work to be done. Main Street just opened about four days ago. Main Street of course being the original US 40. Original National Pike. That's where we see Barry the Bubble Man. But he's not there today though. But seeing these window panes all shattered out. Shows the scope of what happened. Some places have opened up. We're still being worked on. Still got a ways to go though. A 1,000 year flood, just two years later. And now looking east, down a deserted main street, with some damage evident in the distance. It's kind of a shame that to do the, do the restoration thing one more time. And again, Barry's place. We're not going to see bubbles for a while. Oh, there he is. There's our bubble man, Barry. How you doing, sir? All right, good, good, good. All right. Good luck to you. Hope you can reopen real soon. All right. We're looking forward to it. Thanks, Barry. Want those bubbles again? Gotta have those right. bubbles back. You got it. All right, thanks a lot. See you. It's a shame that most of these places have to again rebuild. Including Barry. Nope, not too much progress since my last visit. But they are getting there. All right, the bubble man cometh. There's a man again, all right. How you doing, guys? Hi, my boy. Hey, how you doing? How are you making out? Oh, I We're into the mud you. piles now, right now. I am recording here, and we love you. Gus was here last time. Yeah, I know. He can okay. stop by. I'm going to go back take and get care. the mud out. Nice to see you, All right, take it easy. Thanks. It doesn't appear as if too much progress has been made since our last visit, but we'll go for a closer look. Barry's place is still shut tight. I guess he's not there today, continuing his restoration efforts. He needs a break, believe me. And looking west up at Main Street, AKA National Pike. 
Effort's still in progress. There's still a bit of boarded up businesses, though. There's still much security here. Much I guess there needs to be. Yeah, there we go, for sure. You see why four lanes are pointless. Because look what happens up ahead. The road crashes into the hillside, into the abutment, the grade for I-70. Because the there is in a route that ends into the I-70 embankment, right up there. Good highway planning. Way to go, Ohio. Yeah, I'm glad we got here. It's starting to get old. I know. Well, <laughs> it's, it's nice. To get old. <laughs> well, look. Your first year, 19, 1994, I believe. Wow. January 94. He's six years now. 95. We skipped it in 96. Mm. I don't know. We went in 96. Skipped it in 97. Okay. And the past few years since 97, 98, and up. Were you going? Wow, isn't that interesting? That's nice. Many Two years, years back, it was hot here. It was yeah. 70 degrees. 70, it yeah. It was real hot. That's right. It was like summer. It was I took my coat off. It was so hot. It felt like bike riding yeah. weather. That snow fell for sure. Yeah, look. All it's covered over over here. Way to go, Ohio. Yep, here we go. Down there. This is like that place in Weaverton where 340 does this. Like that. That's dramatic. Hmm. Being out tracks on the other side. Yeah. Park here to the bike ride. Yeah. It's nice. Thank you. Thank you. We'll take one more part of the pre realignment pike here to show you something. I almost missed this turn one year and screeched out. This is Hendrysburg. Hendrysburg, Ohio. How can you resist? Actually, the actor's name was William Boyd, who played Hopalong Cassidy. Again, Hopalong. Sounds like a frog's name. No one ever called me that, though. Well, they even got a church. What else do you want? But up ahead there, a flooded road. I'm gonna wait and see what happens here. If they make it, then I'll try to make it. Because the water's not going that fast. In fact, the water's almost perfectly still. Just as back in Ohio, taking a serious risk just for you. It's only about three inches deep, but it looks worse. And it takes six to wash the car away, so I'm all right. I'll just go more on this side. I can see the road lines are proving it's not that deep. Another old road part, right down here, believe it or not. Why not? Taking a serious risk just for you. At least I always say that coming through here. But at one time this was in worse shape. Hence my comment about the serious risk. 15 years back, that's what I'd be saying through here. But of course, folks live here. But up ahead here, we arrive in Frizzleburg, named after Nimrod Frizzle, an early settler. But funny, the name of the area has two L's, but Frizzle spelled his name with just one L. And no one knows how the second L got there. That's a history mystery. Not passing beneath something called the mule shoe. 
before Horseshoe Curve, they had the Mule Shoe. Remember, there are some places, Jurassic Park. Right there. Complete with dinosaurs. All right. And right there, a black rat snake. Should I catch it or what? No. Where are you going to Okay. Here he is. Yeah. Can you see him? Yep. All right. Yeah, he's a big one. There's his face. He's friendly, he's though. Friendly. Yeah. Very friendly. All right, buddy. Thanks for your time. And check out the rats. They're all tired, too, just like I am. He's wide awake though. And the mice. There's Fievel. Mm -hmm and the stud. Okay, rats, have a nice night. But look over here. A rodent eating M&Ms, whatever they are. And still going at it. Can you feed rodents chocolate?
Lost by the road, a cracked and jagged nail like the ribbon of friendships that have been. Well, I spend my time in bars on this moonlit road, riding with the devil in my brains. The face is hard as ice, I've fought the world. And I never knew what a friendship is And love is to me a distant memory A gamble that I lost more than twice When you come to me Once again, the Cambridge train station. There are no more passenger runs coming through here, but apparently the freights still come this way. This is part of CSX, X Chessy, X B and O. But at least they still use it. Looking east. We're about to cross that bridge right there. That's US 40. We're going left to right. Now, what that thing is right there, I have no idea. And I'm not going to guess because I want to keep this tape G rated. Use your imagination. About to make another right to keep on the route. As we depart Cambridge. Now westbound again, right up here. Actually beneath here, the track passes through a tunnel beneath this road. Which comes out on the left, around the curve and down a bit. Fixing the bridge to the left here takes you to the tunnel. Let's go check it out. And again, facing back east, around the curve is the tunnel. Here, I'll show you. And there it is up ahead the tunnel beneath Route 40. Beyond the tunnel is Cambridge.
above the tunnel, out of sight, would be Route 40. Okay, back west. But before going any further, I thought I'd like to check out this item of interest here. I just came across from the time of segregation on Pellier Station of Norfolk Southern. But what's really interesting are the segregated bathrooms and waiting rooms. White there and over here colored. But there you have it, the white waiting room and over here the colored waiting room. Are arriving, Cass. We made it. Here I am. I gather the train's out right now. I'll be back within the next hour. Now have a look in the former company store. Now called the Cass Country Store. Yep, in the old days, the employees would sell their soul to the company store. That song was right. Mm. The whistle brings back memories. A big six, Western Maryland. cell phone service. There's reason for that. They radio telescopes in the town of Greenbank that search for UFOs. And because those telescopes, they have to have a quiet area here with no other radio waves to interfere. As a result, no cell phone service. So right now, you can't call me. Sorry. That's why I turn one of your oldest on the left someplace. Now it's the green roof behind the motel sign when I get to it over there. With the green roof. Yep, I turn one year old there. That's what I keep saying I'm a former white Martian. Back in my usual route. And again, anybody need any balls? I don't need them. I got more balls than the Christmas tree. Cut. The Haynes Shoe House. Yep. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. Should have kept her feet on the ground, I guess. And there she is, Miss Liberty herself. Standing in the water, facing south. Well, southeast, actually. I'm ready for the football, just don't know where it is. Look, flashing lights at the CSX crossing. I think your frog just got lucky. What better put her in park? Yeah, stand by. I'm gonna get out. It's run by time. Courtesy of CSX.
Mom gone. So is the train. Okay, train's gone. Put the tunes back on. George Harrison. A song about cereal. Apple scrubs. Here's Parkville. Hey, sexy. Oh, balls again. Now passing over I-77. Now he's looking north, going towards Cleveland, Ohio. But if you're from Baltimore, once again, the rivalry is back on. So don't tell them you're from Baltimore if you go to Cleveland. They're mad at us again. Our football team beat theirs twice in a row. We're all Ramones. What I learned, Sheena is a punk rocker. One, two, three, four! Well, the kids are all hopped up and ready to go. They're ready to go now. They got the subway to go into the disco. Take the go, go. But she just couldn't stay. Keep saying, prosperity, a place I'll never live. <laughs> 